I originally come from Uganda. The then government, you know, encouraged students to form student union. I was a branch president. When the next governments came in power, they looked at us as supporters of the previous government. So this caused problems for us. I was kidnapped by some security agents and for three years I was in detention in Uganda. The conditions I was in were terrible. It was a life full of torture. It was so rough. It was, you know, I don't want to talk about the different ways of torture, but torture in different ways. For some reason, I don't know, I was taken to a hospital and when we reached the hospital, I decided to run to flee. I was taken to a detention center now, south of Chicago, I told me to take off my own clothes and put on those suits, the pink jail suits. It's a feeling like they're just sending you back into the hands of the same people who made you flee the country. I knew if he went back to Uganda, he was definitely going to die. And uh, I didn't know what that meant for us. I recall her coming straight into my office. It's heartbreaking to see this uh, mom with a newborn uh, completely uh, in despair because she doesn't know what will happen to her husband. The detention of asylum seekers is particularly problematic. To detain them and confine them can trigger some of the psychological reliving of, of what they have previously experienced. She fought hard and she, she made sure that George comes back home. I've been here since 2007 and the community is great. They have made us feel accepted, feel loved, and they've been very supportive. We work hard, seven days a week. So we don't really take breaks, we don't take vacation. Normally whenever we, we are sending money to Uganda, we let the kids see how much we have. We negotiate with them. Should we send school fees to somebody to go to school or should we sign up for a soccer? And I think they have been watching how we live and they appreciate it. I can't help but feel pride that I played any part in their being able to be here in safety. And so many of the immigrants that we receive in the United States are some of the best of the best of, of their societies, of their home countries. 